Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Are you ready to talk about the new Gymshark camo and Elevate? I think you are. I know I am. There's quite a few things that we need to discuss in today's video. These pieces already launched earlier this month. I'm already starting to get some feedback from you guys who already purchased from these collections. So I took some time, played around with these pieces, really tested them out, brought some of this to the gym. I got some things to say. Really quick before we get into this video, I did want to address something. You guys have been DMing me a lot. I know we probably all heard about the athlete codes, the 10% off discount codes that allow you to actually get 10% off your entire order, which I think is really dope and it's about damn time that they started to do this. I'm getting questions whether or not I'll be receiving a code. And the answer is, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I am. <laughs> but when is a completely different story. So definitely stay posted. I really appreciate you guys asking and inquiring. When, if I receive a code, I will be obviously announcing it on YouTube and Instagram stories. But in the meantime, if you wanna save 10%, use your favorite athlete's code. Help support them, gives you 10% off. It's a win-win. If you'd like to support this channel in the meantime, don't be shy, hit up that subscribe button. You won't regret it because we talk Gymshark here every single month, sometimes a few times a month. We also talk a ton of other brands on this channel, so if you have a favorite, chances are we already reviewed them, and if not, feel free to comment down below. I love taking requests. A huge thank you to Gymshark for sponsoring today's video. Over here you can find all of my measurements. I got everything in a size small today. That is my true size in Gymshark. I will also have all of my measurements down in the description box below, as well as each individual piece linked for your convenience. Let's start with the Elevate collection. We got some new prints going on in here, have you noticed? To me, this is a very geometric style that they came out with. Lots of lines, lots of movement, very thick and thin lines combined. I'm actually a really big fan of this print. I think they did it right with this collection. Now do keep in mind, I reviewed Elevate and Camo in previous videos time and time again. So if you need a full, in-depth, detailed review, check those videos out. I have a whole Gymshark playlist. I'm sure you'll find what you need there. So we still have the traditional long line style bra. The Elevate collection to me is a very soft yogi inspired collection, not something I want to work out in. Now, I would probably give it a chance if it wasn't for the T seam on the back. We've discussed this in previous Elevate videos. They still kept that T seam in the shorts and the leggings. You know, that real <clears throat> solid, not so flattering T seam. Yeah. Comment down below, do you like the T seam? I mean, What's to like? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I prefer a nice curved V seam. That's just me. I guess I can't be too picky. I really think the biker shorts are a hit for me. I think in the summertime, I'm gonna be using them a lot because this material is very wicking. It's very lightweight, very glossy feeling. So I feel like this is gonna be ultra comfort to wear in the summertime. Plus these light colors, beautiful. Other than the T-seam, I do think these shorts are pretty flattering. They don't dig in, cinch into the thighs. No digging in the waistband either. Nice moderate compression throughout. Very comfortable for all day wear. I will give them that. In case you guys haven't noticed, already I actually don't prefer wearing shorts at the gym at all what do you guys think of this print though I got some DMS when I tease this on Instagram stories you guys seem to be vibing with this print so am I they did very well with the squat proof in this light color there's no big change from this Elevate launch to the last Elevate launch. They kept it very consistent with the sizing, the fit, the material, everything. So no need to worry there. I would still stick with my true size small, no doubt about it. If you're in between sizes, I would say you could probably get away with sizing down, especially in the bra. I feel like the bra has a little bit of extra room to play with. My 34Bs sit fairly nicely in this. There's a little room to breathe. There's no straps pinching in the back. Still got the removable bra pads, the ruching in the front, some seamed contour, and the long line bra is definitely preferable for me to wear as athleisure. This way, it covers most of my stomach, you got the high-waisted shorts or leggings with it. All you gotta do is throw on a cardigan, some shoes, and you're out the door. Out of all of Gymshark's collections, the Elevate collection would be my go-to athleisure set that's not sweats. And when I do wanna feel extra sexy, I just tuck this little flap in. <laughs> you know how I do. Tuck it up in the bra, get on with my bad self. You know I had to grab a classic biker short, black. This I know I'll be utilizing the most out of anything. When it comes to the summertime, especially sweating, black shorts are a must. Grabbed the short sleeve top to go with it. You have the statement cut out right at the chest. 
This is actually a very body fit. I'm thankful that these short sleeves do not dig in. If you could just feel this fabric, here, touch it. <laughs> You gotta feel this. It's ever so slightly the tiniest rib you'll ever see in your life. Insanely stretchy. It is so stretchy that if you were to stretch it out in daylight, you're gonna see right through it. It's that thin and lightweight. But when wearing it, I'm not seeing my sports bra underneath. So it's kind of like magic fabric where you stretch it out, you can see right through it. Wearing it, you're good. <laughs> this is a full length t-shirt. So matching it with the biker shorts, it almost looks like a bodysuit. No one has to know. The only difference between this and a bodysuit is you don't have to sit there in a public stall and go commando and hope people don't peek through the cracks at you. Nothing more embarrassing in the world than making eye contact with a stranger through a stall crack. There's no going back at that point. You're done. You did it. It's over. At that point, you might as well not wash your hands. Just get out of there. I also have a solid pair of leggings in the color brushed brown. If you're somebody who just can't get behind a full pattern look, all good. You could do a little mix and match. This solid matches perfectly with the pattern. I actually rocked this set with a Whitney hat. Did I? I can't remember if I was imagining that or not. <laughs> I mean, I, maybe it was the willow green I did. Okay, never mind. So I have this solid color along with the willow green color. They are so close to the colors that just launched in the Whitney line. I actually took her cap and was styling with these. The shades are maybe a shade or two different from each other when you really put them next to each other, but wearing it as an outfit ain't no one gonna even recognize. So therefore you can get away with it. No one's gotta know it doesn't technically match. Leggings are great, come to a comfortable length, very squat proof on me, no front seam, Plus that slight curvature of the band. Yeah, that seam in the front works. Still have the monotone logo. This one you can actually see pretty well compared to this one that just blends right in with the pattern. Can you even see it? It's like, where's Waldo? There it is. My overall thoughts on the Elevate collection, I think it is perfect for all day wear. If you are a yogi master, you wanna do low key movements, this will be your collection. If you're a gal like me, where glute aesthetic is, somewhat of a priority, then maybe not so much. I feel like if they were to take this seam and just arch it, I think this would totally transform the legging and then I'd be more likely to wear it all the time. Maybe even, maybe even attempt it at the gym. I wanna say that nothing has changed with the new camo versus the last launch that happened in September, I believe. But I would be lying. First and foremost, Let's get into the new bras that they launched. We not only have one, but two new tops to choose from in the new camo collection. Let's start with this one. So we have a racer back sports bra that has a laced up front. It has double fabric, almost reminds me of the Fleck bra. You know, that double layer they have going on. The one underneath is just an all over marl. The top, that's where you have that lava print. This jacquard print is very texturized. So this gritty look you're seeing, you can really feel it. The seam placement's very pretty, all right? You have the darker seams bordering the bra. I think they did that right. Aesthetically, I really like this bra. You got the removable bra pads. I'm feeling a pretty high support in this. That also could be because, you ready for this? It's so damn snug. It's a little too freaking small for me. Now this is nothing new. When it comes to Gymsharks, Adapt Camel lines, they just run really small on me. Small to the point where it's like, it starts hurting my shoulders after a while. I really didn't know what to expect from this new bra, so I ordered in my true size. If I were to do it again, I would absolutely size up to a medium. Now I don't know for sure how it would fit if I size up to a medium, but I do know one thing is for sure and that this small is just too small. You can see it in the overlap. I mean, granted it makes my girls look amazing, but that's because they're literally sandwiched together. They're just being pushed together like two water balloons ready to pop. I think adding in this lace detail was spot on, especially because they started to integrate that in previous launches. Remember the long sleeve with the lace up back? They still launched those this time around. Keep in mind, this lace up doesn't do anything. You can't tighten it, it's not adjustable. This bra in a nutshell is what it freaking is. Let's talk about the asymmetrical crop tank. Now this bra is a very thick crop tank. There's no padding, there's no built-in bra, none of that, but the material is in fact thick enough where I can wear it to the gym, which I did. I actually 
folded it up underneath. Some of you didn't recognize the bra. They're like, well, what's that? I'm like, yeah, it's the crop tank, but you know how I do at the gym. I just gotta do it like that. Now, unlike the bra you just saw, the backing of this crop tank is adjustable. This was a little bit loose on me. I felt like there's a lot of extra material. Adjusting it in the back really doesn't help that because there's just a ton of material here. Still a cute look. I would love to see some more asymmetrical designs from Gymshark. I think they're really hitting it big in the activewear realm with this look. So to see them incorporating it slowly, okay, we're taking baby steps, but I would like to see more. Cause I'll tell you one thing, going Tarzan in the gym ain't nothing making me feel more like a badass. That's the truth. And it's pretty. I just think it's an overall pretty look. So if you have a bigger chest than me and you need support, I would not recommend this unless you wear something underneath. If you're like me, 34B, don't need a ton of support, just a thick enough material so my nipples don't show, then you'd be just fine with this. I think if you're in between, I would definitely suggest sizing down rather than up, which is crazy to say because the rest of their bras are so snug it hurts. It's just, it just, that's how the cookie crumbles with this one. Now let's talk leggings and shorts. We're looking at the reverse stone gray slash evening blue. Boy, they're coming out with everything in evening blue. Now we all know that the bras run really snug, right? Why are the leggings and the shorts running extra snug as well? That was my deciding factor of looking into the material and saying, okay, what actually changed? I was used to it with the bra, so I didn't think twice, but when putting on the leggings, and especially the shorts, I was like, something's different. And I did notice they switched up from polyamide in the last launch to now nylon. But I do notice polyamide versus nylon. Polyamide just, it just gives a higher quality to the legging. So for example, it'll feel a little more powdery soft, a little more stretchy, a bit easier to actually put on. With nylon, I notice a little more stiffness, not so powdery soft, a little more difficulty when putting on. That is what I experienced with these new camo leggings and shorts. Unfortunately, I noticed a uni butt in these. When I played around with the material, it's a little more difficult than it usually is. Typically, I can play around with the camo material, move it up where, you know, I like it and get on with it. But for some reason, it was very difficult. You still have the squared off waistband. Everything is the same since the last launch in terms of aesthetic. We all know they got rid of the little patchy scrunch. That's gone. That's been gone. That's old news. They now have this raised seam. I love that evolution for them. I'm glad they made that switch. We all wanted it. I do think, believe it or not, if I were to do it again, I would probably have to size up now to a medium in both the leggings and shorts. Squatting wasn't the most comfortable in this region. I do think it's because of the slight material makeup. You still have the polyester and elastane, but that polyamide to nylon switch, it was noticeable for me. Specifically in the shorts, ironically, this is their misty slash hazy pink. I think it's really pretty. It's almost a, a salmon-y pink and I think it's perfect for mix and matching with the evening blue, a really nice, lovely summer spring color. But again, I am feeling the backside being a little too restrictive and right around the thighs cinching in way too much. Now given this slightly different material, I might just have to start sizing up to a medium completely in these sets but I don't know how it's gonna hold up for sure with the waistband compression. Maybe a little extra material might cause some wrinkle. Really don't know what to expect if I sized up. And not to mention, I'm actually about a month into a cut right now. So I'm actually losing weight. The fact that they're getting tighter <laughs> with each launch rather than the opposite <laughs> makes me go, okay, it's definitely the material and it's not me. So if you're somebody who did size up in this collection, Comment down below if you don't mind, share your thoughts. This is a community here. So I encourage you to comment or read the comments. Maybe it'll help someone out. Not to say it isn't still a damn good legging in terms of actual quality. Camo is still number one when it comes to being squat proof on me. So if you know your true size in this latest launch, then yes, I highly recommend it. For me, I need to play around a little bit. Maybe sizing up will do me some good. Real quick, I wanna close the show with the bra that I'm wearing. I mean, out of anything today, I gotta say, this is the most underrated sports bra that Gymshark has right now. This is their new crossover. You have a little patch of mesh in the front, very pretty backing, nice support. It actually says low support, but me being 34B, this is moderate to high on me. At first, I thought this was a training sports bra. I was like, ooh, surprise, surprise. It's not, since the new crossover, I saw some leggings drop too, so I'm almost tempted. If it's anything like the sports bra, then they might be solid. I will have it linked down below if you wanna take a closer look. 
right guys, thank you so much for being here. I hope this video has helped you some way, somehow. Like I said, drop a comment with your thoughts. We have some more Gymshark coming in the next few weeks, so stay posted for that. Definitely hit that subscribe button if you're not already. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you, and I will catch you in my next video.